Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers Proving Ground with me, SK Drake. How are you all doing? I have done it and hold on a second. Universal Evil uh, left a good comment. Uh, he also did the same thing, trying to get a ship to go into uh, space and return back down. And he had to mess with his uh, remote control block and tell it which direction to go. And that gave me uh, an indication of what I should be doing. It, it helped me narrow down what the issue was. So if we click on this without... Uh, there it is. Go to our timer block and start. And we jump off. You see this is a slight variation than the first one we had. It's got two reverse thrusters, one there and one there, and off it goes. Bye. I've done this flight, I don't know, uh, spent about three hours trying to get it to, get it to fly up into space. It's going up into orbit. Now I did add, on uh, this landing site, it lands right here now. Nope, it lands right back here perfectly. Well, almost perfect. I had to add approach one though, which is one kilometer up. And I'll explain all that stuff uh, when it returns. It'll be back in about half an hour. So let's uh, take a look at it right now. We'll fast forward and jump through time and we'll see it when it gets to orbit and watch it uh, um, come back down. Watch it uh, turn around and come back down. All right. Do, do, do. Ah, oh, that was so amazing. It worked. I was so worried it wasn't going to work. I tested it twice before. But still, you never know. Look at that. Oh, no damage. It's, you know, it's pretty close to being over it. A little turret sideways, but that's fine. So let me explain what is going on. Uh, oh, there is it. So first thing is I click the timer block. It's a 10 second countdown. It turns thrusters on, the autopilot on, and landing gears off. Or unlocks the landing gears, not turn them off. Now, auto or uh, the remote control block. This is forward here. And this little square is the top. So that's the top of it. And that's the front. So it is facing that way. Very important to know that. And then we hop over here. And we look at the remote control block. And right now autopilot's off. It is set for one way. And right now it's set for backwards, and the speed limit is down to 90. Oh, I should do that in the timer block, actually. After a launch, I would have to, it's going to have to reset it here. 
So it's gonna have to do remote control block forward and increase speed limit. All right, now let's go back to that. So that the tire block will reset it back to where it's supposed to be. So when the tire block resets it, uh, this goes back to forward and this goes back up to 100. And the first waypoint is uh, orbit. And when it gets to orbit, the only thing it's going to do is decrease the speed limit down to 90. The only reason I did that is so that when it's coming down, it stays trying to slow down most of the way down. And once it hits uh, approach 1, that's the important one there. It's going to decrease its speed limit. Wait, it should have been down to 80. It didn't go down to 80. This and this one didn't work. Oh, it, it uh, decreases the speed limit. It turns a uh, precision. Well, let's uh, remove this. Uh, let's remove that. There. We'll see which one is doing anything. So it'll go straight up to orbit. And then straight back to uh, approach one. Now here is where I tell it to go on precision mode and to go backwards. When it leaves uh, the atmosphere. Um... The orientation gets messed up and the ship will turn sideways sometimes. It doesn't matter if it comes down sideways. Uh, once it gets to doo -doo, one kilometer up, it's going to face the right way so that it's going to come down backwards to here. So, so yeah, ap approach one set the, this uh, forward direction to backwards. So I want it to be going backwards the whole time. And precision mode is so that it comes right to uh, landing site. And when it gets to landing site, it's going to turn off autopilot. It's going to turn on auto lock on the landing gears. And it's going to turn off the thrusters. Setup action. Uh, you need... Here, you need to be switch auto lock. Actually, no, no, we'll we'll not do that. Uh, USB unlock. We'll just have to remember to do uh, auto lock on ourselves here. Yeah. So it it, it uh, turns on auto lock and turns off the autopilot and turns off the engines. Which drops it uh, less than a meter. And the auto lock is. The ground locks it in place, and we're nice and safe. And it uses up quite a bit of fuel. I don't know how much because um, I didn't pay attention. I think it uses up 80% uh, of this fuel tank. Maybe 70%. I'm not sure if this... Uh, no, this was full. This was completely full. That's right. Here. So, it used up... ...74% of the fuel. So, there we go. We are now able to launch to space and return. Now, we need to put a ship on this. So, I need to grab some building stuff. Now, I don't know how long this video is going to be because I did spend hours trying to get just this part to work properly and now it does. I'm so happy. You, give me building stuff. All those. And those. And those. That should be good. Alright. First thing is... Uh, let's get rid of all this stuff. 
I need to fly there. I'm gonna need a connector. Base it that way. Can we put one on top facing the opposite way? Or do we have to build the blocks first? I think we have to build the blocks first. That's fine. Are you facing the right way? No. There you go. Hey, where can I place you? Oh, is that not a lockable surface? Oh, no, that was it there. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know why I well did that. Um... We need to I need my I try to play without the uh crosshair because it doesn't go away. But it's so hard to Yeah, oh yeah. There we go. You are uh docking Docking and you are test subject alpha. Uh, TSA docking. There we go. Uh, are you actually? Yeah, you call it test subject alpha. Okay. And this one is going to be our space pod. And so what I want to do is come into remote control block. For this one, set up actions. Where is TSA docking? Oh. Gotta put it together first. No problem. I have a ship for that. Uh, six. Oh, that's why you. And control block. Orbit. Set up actions. TSA docking. Unlock. And then where's TSA docking? Down to bottom. Can we. Locking in place. Now, what happens if we remove this? It unlocks. Ah, dang it. Can we just knock this over? Uh. Uh. No. Okay, that's good. So, for this, we are going to need tanks. Do, do, do. Those are not tanks. These are tanks. Oxygen tank and hydrogen tank. Now this has to be a large ship. Because hydrogen on small ships is garbage. And where six is like that. Uh, G. Where are you? There you are. Six here. Oh, no, right there. And we want oxygen generators. Oh, these are too big. What I could do is uh, put one here. And here. No! Run it away! I didn't want it to fall and smash something to pieces. 
Oh look, it just fell right there. All right, that's fine. want is I want five face down all right I can do it like that that's fine whatever control panel lock all right you're locked in place I throw the seven there Throw. See this this ship here. You gotta do it like this. Six. I want to do nines here, facing. Yep, that way. Press T so it don't turn. Watch out for that. We're gonna put you guys here. Here. And we're gonna go three actors. Here, I'm here. Well, if I do it like that, then I can just do nine here and here. Oh, really? Ah, go away. Oh, you go away. Now I want conveyor tubes. Doop. Uh, I need this. We need a cargo container. Here and here. Oh no, don't kill me! Ow. way. Alright, well, so basically this is just going to be a, uh, a thing from a bobber. I'm going to build this ramp here to give me a walkway up to the top here. Oh, I should have filled up my tank. I'm gonna finish uh, building this thing up and I'll be right back with a hopefully finished ship. That is a little bouncy. <laughs> Don't fall. I have no idea if this thing is going to fall. Please don't fall. I can give it my body location. I really don't need that anymore. Um, I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. Let's run up to the top here. Do -do -do. And the dog wants in, of course.
Alright, let's see if this thing falls and squishes us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A little bit of a sway, but I don't know. So here's our little thing. I know it's ugly. But yeah, it's it's all we got. It's got two reactors, two batteries, uh, two oxygen generators, one oxygen tank, one hydrogen tank, twelve or so thrusters, uh, ore detector, antenna. Cockpit. Oh, don't don't squish me. Don't knock anything over either. Uh, okay. You done moving? Good. Good. Ah, oh, good. I did not grab any oxygen tanks. I'm pretty sure I can grab some from here though. Can I? Ah, oh, I can't. Sweet. Here, you you can have this stuff. Can we fill this up real quick? Alright, we are ready for launch. Yep. Ugh. Um, excuse me. Uh, let's go G. Remove. Remove. Oh, we need to just... I, I should have disconnected everything first. Whoops. Nope. Go back. Before we launch into space, um, yeah, let's uh, disconnect the fuel line. I got distracted when it was swaying and I thought it was going to fall down and kill me. But the hydrogen tanks are full, so let's see. Counter, start launch, ramp, hit that button, hit that button, hit that button. There we go. Our, our, our next uh, launch ship will look a lot better. This is our first one, and I don't know if it's going to explode into a million pieces or not, so... I'd rather test it like this. Good, good, good. Alright. Yep. Yeah. G. Timer block. Start. Uh... Groups. Thrust. Power block on off. Let us see if we can get this ship in the orbit. Escape. Save. In ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, go. It's not going. Control panel. Remote control block. You're on. Why are you not going? Oh, is it because, uh, where's the remote control block? That way? <sighs> Gee... All blocks... Switch lock. Hit seven. Hit one. 
Why are you not launching? It's not enough thrust. It's too heavy. That'd be why. We're, we're, we're really heavy. It's okay. V5. Oh my god, we're going so slow. Faster! Oh, this is no good. This is gonna burn up all our fuel. Can we go faster than this? It's the large hydrogen thruster. Oh, it's not being shown. Still not. Why is he going so slow? waypoint it's going to orbit <gasps> precision mode off uh, where's that timer block uh, precision mode off Oh. oh! Okay, um... Yes, quick load. Okay, now it's uh, working properly. I just had to reload the world. Oh, landing here. Very locked, okay. We're three kilometers out from the separation point, and there's a raiding station out there. Be from pirates. Now, if all goes according to plan, oh, 
Oh, oh, no, don't, don't, don't be all weird. It should toss me off while it slows down. Oh. Throw, throw me, throw me. Why didn't you release me? Release. Release. Oh, it's gonna go sideways to the, the point. Because we're in orbit. And release. Um, are you gonna release me? What are you doing, you weird thing? Release me! There it goes. Nice. We have successfully... Yeah, see how it flies sideways? It'll, it'll fix itself while, when it gets to approach. Oh, no, there it goes. Fixing itself now. But there we go. We have successfully made it into orbit. Now I have to sit here until that ship lands. Because once I get more than uh, 50 kilometers away, <laughs> it just flies in a straight line. So I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, next episode, we are heading to the moon. Uh, we are moving. Oh. Let's move a little bit. There we go. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We have made it to space. Take care.